I sure will. Good morning, everybody. You are listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only, Steve Harvey. Got a radio show. Yeah, man. God is in the blessing business all day, every day. God got hundreds of millions of blessings that he passes out every day. All I want to do is be the recipient that I'm the recipient of what he has for me. That's all I want. I just want God's favor, and I go. I want God's blessings. You know, of course, I need his mercy and his grace, but I just want his blessing and his favor. I want, I want that in my life because it does things for me that I'm absolutely incapable of doing for myself. And I've been a recipient of many of those. And you can be the recipient of them, too. You already are, really. Really, you already are. If you're getting up every morning, that's a blessing. If you're getting one day closer to anything you're trying to accomplish, that's a blessing. But now, let let me me, me talk to you about this part right here, folks, because this is the part that messes people up a great deal. What happens when you get off track? What is that? What does that mean when you get off track? See, I've been off track, I can't tell you how many times. And it happens in so many aspects of your life. But but what is it that makes getting off track so debilitating to some people? You know, there are some people who once they off track, they off course, they off the dream, they on to something else. And you cannot allow the fact that you've gotten off track to stop you. Can I tell you something? Everybody gets off track. There are people who are living their life's dreams in spite of getting off track. See, what happens when you get off track, here's the simple thing to do. The simple thing is just to get back on track. Yeah, that's that's but that's easier said than done, ain't it, Steve? Yeah, because see, people, when you get off track, here's some of the things that happen. See, you get the, here come the naysayers, some of them from the outside, some of them internally. Here's what gets said when you get off track. See, I told you. I told you. You know, you you, you start hearing that. It's not for you. Okay? This is all just because you got off track. It's not for you. Okay, here's another one. It ain't meant to be. 
you can hear it or you can say it. Well, I guess it's just not meant to be. But let me ask you a question. though: Who made the rule that when you get off track, you can't get back on? Who, who made that rule? Where is that written that once you get off track, you can't get back on? See, because I'm going to tell you something, folks. There's no such rule. As a matter of fact, it's, it's quite the opposite. See, everybody in pursuit of a dream, a goal, an aspiration, or a mission is going to get off track sometimes. You're going to get derailed. There are going to be days where you're not going to get it right. There are going to be days where you feel like giving up. There's going to be days when you're just going to flat out get it wrong. That's the journey. But let me tell you something. Every successful person that I know, ever met, talked to, sat down and chopped it up with, have shared one thing in common. We all get off track. We all get it wrong along the way. I don't care who the person is. The president got it wrong along the way. Your pastor got it wrong along the way. Choir director Gwai got it wrong along the way. The principal at your school got it wrong along the way. The valedictorian of your class got it wrong along the way. The star of the team got it wrong along the way. They've all been off track. Your boss down at your job, he got it wrong along the way. Your immediate supervisor, Got it wrong along the way. Everybody I know that has any measure of success in every in every level that you call success, however you want to label it, has gotten off track. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. Listen to me. It is impossible not to get off track in pursuit of your dreams, goals, visions, aspirations. It is impossible. Don't you let nobody tell you that they got through life unscathed, that they made it because they was just so determined and I would let nothing turn me back. Yeah, you might not have let nothing turn you back because you're here. Oh, but you thought about it. Oh, you thought about it on days when you was off track. But see, people don't like to tell the whole story. They just want you to think as much as you can about them. So when they tell you their story, they leave out the the, the stuff along the way. It was just hard work and determination that got me here. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was the fact that you got off track and the grace and mercy of God allowed you to get back on. His forgiveness allowed you to get back on because you would not believe what some of the people have done. So when you get off track, don't allow the naysayers outside and the big naysayer inside. Because let me tell you something. The biggest naysayer of them all comes from inside. See, it don't matter what other people say out there. It takes some time for you to learn this, and I understand, because it took me some time to learn it. See, I have a lot of naysayers out there, but I ain't operating for them. I operate and function for the ones that love me, for the ones that get me, for the ones that understand what I'm really trying to do. And so don't You be the one that doesn't allow yourself to get back on track when you get off track. Because like I said, who made the rule up that you can't get back on track? There's no such rule out there. Stop stopping yourself from getting it right. So what you started the diet at the beginning of the year and you already off? Start another one. Start over. Try it again. Don't ever stop trying. If you stop trying, you can't make it. But if you never give up the effort, if you never give up and say it's over, it ain't over. You heard the saying, it ain't over to the fat lady saying, I never invite her. She's not invited. It ain't over to the fat lady saying, I don't know where the fat lady stay. I have not sent her an invitation to none of my events. She's not welcome here. She didn't ask me a couple of times, how come I never get invited? Because you're going to start saying it. And I ain't got time for that. All right? Stop inviting the fat lady to all your events. Thank you. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Wake up, everybody. It is the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Big ups to all of the Android people out there. You know, there's a thing again. Android is against iPhones. Android is against iPhones. I am the Android man of this show. Thomas Miles, nephew Tommy. Welcome to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Welcome to the ride. Shirley Strawberry. iPhone 10. iPhone 10 right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> what you need. <laughs> hey, good morning, nephew. Good morning. Happy what? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to yeah. you. And the mastermind, the one and only call a prayer review. That's P. V. Farrell. What it do, baby girl? What's happening, nephew? What's up, Shirley? What's up, Junior? Hey, girl. What's going on? Call her? What? Android oh, or iPhone? Android flip or iPhone. Phone. Flip phone. Going back. Ooh, yeah. Way, way Ooh, back. Yeah. I'm yeah, good. I like the effect when you hang up on people. Uh huh. <laughs> you like the flip. You feel like you're slamming it. <laughs> My aunt yeah, still yeah. has a flip phone. To I'm not day. mad at her. She Bring it back. It. They do not <laughs> still make flip phones. She still has one. <laughs> but I only want it for that part because when you text, woo, you get a headache. Yes. <laughs> oh, that ABC right there. Ooh, it won't scoot over when you think it's supposed to. Uh uh-uh, uh. You got to start over. It's too much. <laughs> Junior boy, prayer review. What it do, baby boy? Morning, everybody. Morning. <laughs> Morning, everybody. You know what time? I'm taking it all the way back. Pay phone. Uh oh. Uh, Page me. Nah. Nah. Are you looking for me? You remember that? You said it. You looking for me? Who looking for me? That was the uh, saying. I ain't called because you ain't put your code in. Yeah. That's why I that ain't called. Call. Boy, there used to be some all. Uh, you had to hurry up and exit off the freeway. <laughs> I got to get over here. Somebody didn't hit me 911. Oh, I got a, I got something for y'all that goes that goes with this. What's so, that? Check this out. So, you know the song Bugaboo? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, child, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So Tasha and her friends, they're singing the song. And so they look at me. Tasha says, uh, you know the part where it says, you make me want to throw my pager out the uh-huh. window. Yeah. Tell MCI to cut the phone off. Uh-huh. So Tasha said, what's a pager? <laughs> 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 and we were like, what? A and pager. then she said, who is MCI? I said, it was a phone company, girl, back in the day. <laughs> yes, it was. MCI, show. <laughs> you remember MCI? Yeah, yeah, yeah. MCI. Next yeah. tail. Next tail. All that. All that. Prime so coat. Funny. Yeah. Prime coat. It was Alcatel a phone? That wasn't a phone. Alcatel. I think it singular. was singular. Remember singular? Singular. singular. Yeah. yeah. Man. So anyway, she said, "So what's a pager?" So we're trying to explain. It was it was a group of moms. We're trying to explain to these girls what a pager is and what. And she said, why y'all just didn't use the cell phone? We didn't have have that. Technology, baby. Technology (laughs) was not where it is today. They don't don't understand. But Shirley, when we said we didn't have a cell phone, uh, just imagine these 11, 12, 13-year-olds, they all did this. (gasps) (laughs) How did you live? Uh, What were y'all doing? Carla, when we was going through the storm in Houston and all the power was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little girl was done. She says, what are we doing with no Wi-Fi? (laughs) <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. I, oh, we're just no. losers right now. <laughs> we have no Wi-Fi, Daddy. <laughs> Fix it, Daddy. Yeah. Hey, meanwhile, he was somewhere holed up in the closet underneath something. Because he didn't it's, like the storm. Enlightening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, listen. Coming up at 32 after the hour, we're going to uh, ask Tommy and ask Junior. Uh-oh. All right, oh. yeah. Something okay. funny coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, time for Ask Tommy and Ask Junior. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. We have oh, some questions yeah. for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know how we always love yeah. this segment. All right. Yes. You guys ready? Come on, Carla. You go first. Okay, cool. This question is for Tommy. What you got? What is the worst case of being spoiled you have witnessed. Well, you just told us last break. Yeah, he just said <laughs> it. Daughter. Oh, my daughter. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I got one worse than that. I got one worse than that. Uh, okay. My son, Jordan, he's mm-hmm. eight. He mm-hmm. has a little kid over to, uh, to spend the night. Mm-hmm. Right. right. And the kid comes over. Now, we eating. Uh, what we eating? We eating. We eating Crab oxtail. Legs. We eating oxtail. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, Come on with it. Then mama going to say, uh, he don't eat oxtail. <laughs> I said, well, you know, I'm like, well, what, what, what the hell he going to eat? Uh, that's all we got yeah. tonight. And matter of fact, these oxtail for to carry over to tomorrow. Yeah. So one thing about Jack and Miles is we're not eating nothing else till this pot gone. Uh, okay. So, I so, love leftovers. Okay. Yeah. So, so y'all going to eat this for lunch, too. Yeah. So mm. the little boy like, ah, I don't, I'm not supposed to have that. Uh-huh. I say, mm. well, 
when your mama coming to get you? <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking when she coming back. Well, she, it's, it's Monday. She's not coming to, like, when. Tell you what. Let's see if you like these damn folk, these uh, uh, oxtails, yeah? By when? Uh -huh. Boy, he was licking his face. Oh! <laughs> I say, now don't tell your mama yeah. about these oxtails. I'm not going to say nothing, but I like this. That's what no. I thought then. Uh -huh. you, you, you can't eat no oxtail. You're going to eat what we eat right here. All right, With Junior. some cornbread. Uh -huh. <laughs> With corn. Yeah. Junior, this one's for you. What's something that can be learned in a day uh, but, but can be useful for the rest of my life? Oh, that's easy. The word no. Oh, I like it. I like no, it. I, I like it. I had to learn it. I yeah. had to learn it. The word really? no. That's a big lesson. The word lesson. no. It's yeah. a big lesson. It uh, is. And a lot of people feel it. There's, mm -hmm. there's no way in the world somebody can make you feel guilty about saying no. Yeah. I have the right to say no. If yeah. I choose to say no, then it's no. That's right. And you can't fall into that people-pleasing yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I like that, Junior. No, the word I no. Too. I like it. Good lesson. I like that lesson. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, Tommy, you up. All right, what you got? What screams, I want you to think I'm very smart, but I'm just about average. <laughs> what screams, <laughs> I want you to think I'm smart, but I'm really average. Your <laughs> just name. about average. <laughs> Take your time. Let them use it. Well, when you come to dinner uh -huh. at a restaurant, uh-huh. And you and you trying to read hors d'oeuvres, but you saying harsh doers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that right there. <laughs> Tell is everybody. Really screaming out something. Mm -hmm. This ain't you ain't never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> or you've never seen it in print. Yeah, you, you ain't seen, seen it in print. print. <laughs> right. You ain't right. seen. Or you really. trying to read hors d'oeuvres and then you ain't saying it right. <laughs> mm, no, you ain't been here. Before. Oh, I, I could add to that one. Wait, Shirley. Go ahead, go when ahead. When you order tartar beef. Oh, steak tartar. Oh, tartar beef. Oh, you think you know you're doing something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah, tater tots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tater tots. All right, Junior, here we go. What song, now think about this. What okay. song makes you tear up every time you hear it? If You by Silk. If You. Sing, sing a little if, bit of that. If you. You feeling like loving me. Come on, Lil G. Come on, Lil G. Uh -huh. Feeling like loving me. <laughs> but 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 that's not the part. And the reason why, uh -huh. Brian, my best friend, he's passed on. Uh -huh. Brian would do all the ad libs. <laughs> so I'll be oh. singing, if you and he said, anybody wanna touch on John John tonight? <laughs> Oh, anybody want to touch yeah. on John John tonight? John John was a member of the group. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So up. that was, that All was. I knew was uh, G Money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, if a bride would do all of the ad libs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Gotcha. Bring your gotcha. sexy body over here. Let me do the things I do. All of that. <laughs> we doing the whole song. Uh -huh. I come right back. <laughs> if you, you were the hook man. You singing the hook. To me. <laughs> you. And that's how we did it. Okay. But, but I tee up every time. I knew you were going to. I just knew you were going to do a Jodeci jam. Oh, no. I, I, Jodeci, I cry every time, Jodeci. Come I on. Know. I cry. I I that's a, what I thought it was going to be. I get a, me no, too. I get, a, Jodeci, man. I get a bottle out and drink every time Jodeci come on. <laughs> I drink <laughs> with them. <laughs> now, Pour a little bit for the homies. Yeah. Junior. Uh, <laughs> now, you usually sing the same Jodeci song, but like Shirley was saying, what's, what's your what's my favorite your, yeah, Jodeci song? Take my yes. money, my yes. house and my car. Yeah, Fiend it. <laughs> I love oh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, Joe, that's my okay. jam. Come on now. Okay. You feel yeah, that okay. way about a woman? I want a little bit of it, Bless though. Bless us, yeah. Junior. Come I on I want now. a little bit of Phoenix. it. Phoenix? Yeah. Take my money. Girl, did he close his eyes? eyes? My house eyes and my closed. car. Do, do. For a hit of you. Do, do. <laughs> do, do. You can have it all. <laughs> do, do. Do, do. <laughs> making love. Love, love. Love. <laughs> girl is worse than drugs. Come on. I'm an addict for you. Yeah. You Got Get to me that hook. Yes. I can't leave you alone. Thanks, children. You got me feeling. But his eyes are shut. Ladies and gentlemen, Kier Jr. Space, the fifth member of Jodeci. I can't leave you alone. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. you got me feeling. Fiend, boy. 
Stop moving the microphone. Uh, like that I'm feening for you. Girl, he's you. doing all the steps and everything. I don't ever mind. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm thank sorry. you for that. Lord have mercy. Your you eyes was in the back of your head, God, though. Boy. <laughs> all right. Come on, Carl. Come you got a question for Tommy. Mm. All right, Tommy. What was your first memory of the internet? Wow. Jackie got me a AOL. AOL? E uh, yeah, AOL Account. email address. You know, that's your first one with AOL. Oh, yes. yes. I yes. still have AOL. Shirley, I still what? have AOL. <laughs> you got mail. Right there. Like the movie. Oh, yes. man. I thought yes. that was yeah. the greatest thing in the world. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Coming up next, Nephew in the building with Run That Prank Back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, entertainment news. Black Girl Magic gold medalist U.S. gymnast Simone Biles is the GOAT, baby. Don't think yes, she's she not. Yes, she's she a beast. Because she is. She's okay, did you see her? Uh -huh. Yes. How yes. high Nobody's up in the did air that. did she I go up? I think she can dunk a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. Well, we know she can jump. Plus, um, yes, Rihanna is just like me and you, and Drake is topping the Billboard chart album again. Go ahead, Drake. Right now, Nephew in the building with Run That Prank Back. What you got for us today, Neff? A Shay Leon. Oh, okay. Play it with a little bit of French. A Shay Leon. <laughs> oh, Junior Boy, here it is. Shay Leon. <laughs> Cat Dog, if you would be so kind to run that, please. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for calling me. Hello, I'm trying to reach Nicole, please. This is she. Hi, how you doing? Listen, my name is Shay Leon, and I was calling you to see if you had any booth rental in the salon that you work in. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name again. What's your name again? Shay, Shay Leon. I mean, my, my real name is Leon, but my artistic name is Shay Leon. Shay Leon is what they call me. Shay Leon, okay. Um, actually, I do have space for another um, person to come in and work. Um, I am in a suite. Um, it's rather small in here, but if you are interested in coming in and working, I would really like to have someone come in and work with me. That would be nice. Can I ask you a question? I'm Go ahead. What's your background? What do you do, actually? Uh, well, actually, I've, I've just moved here to uh, D.C. I was actually living in the uh, Los Angeles area. Okay. And, um, you know, I've been doing hair there for the last probably 15, 20 years. I've been doing hair, uh, definitely licensed. You know, I, I just I moved here. But okay. um, I've been doing hair, hair for quite a long time. I specialize in only doing female hair. And, um, you know, just looking to get into D.C. and get back to work. And okay. I really want to... Um, find a place where I can do some hair, and, and you know, it's going to take me a minute to get some clientele built up. But, right. you know, I, I know my work is good. Okay. Well, um, I am in a high-traffic area, and I think this would um, be a great area for you just coming in from another state, especially from California. Right. Um, right. Is it possible you could come in and take a look and see what you can, you know? I, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to come in and take a look and see what I, you know, the type of work environment you have. and, and right. uh, mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding that a lot of people that do hair that have different rooms. Is that well, how this setup is? Yes, that's how it's set up. However, but you, I do but have, you actually a, have a you actually have yes. a suite. I do have a suite. Um, it's a double suite, so there is room for another technician. Um, but you know, with it being such close quarters, you know, you gotta gotta kind of get a feel for the person that's gonna come in and work for you. So yeah, right, right, because you're gonna be working real close to each other. I understand. You know, if we kind of meet each other, you know, we can get a feel for each other and see if we can work. Well, it let out. me ask you something. Have you have you had a um uh, a PHS? Have you worked around a PHS person before? I'm sorry, who? A PHS. Have you worked around? I mean, that, that's that's pretty much what I do. Have you worked around a PHS? Uh, I'm not. Before? I'm not familiar with that term. Is that a California term? I don't. What's PHS? A PHS is a uh, uh, private hair specialist. Have you worked with a private hair specialist before? Um. Well, I would consider myself private, being so I'm in the suite. But uh, where you would be working out in the open with myself, so I don't know how private you would be. Oh no 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 no! You you not you not understand where I'm coming from. I'm I'm a PHS, okay, private hair specialist, and what that is is I I do women's private hair, like if they want removal from under their arm or their chin or you know. But most of my work actually resides in the bikini line. Uh, you know, I'm an artist, so I'm known to put your name there. I I can dye it a different color, a mohawk, a, a landing strip. You okay, know, okay. let me let me let me let me stop you right there. Um, 
you did call and say you were a hairstylist. And the last time I checked a hairstylist, they be style hair, the hair on top of the head. Shay Leon does hair. It does that doesn't necessarily have to be the hair on the head. I'm just saying I okay, style well, hair. Okay, well, Sierra Leon, Sri Lanka. What's what's your name again? I'm sorry. Shay Leon. You cannot continue to name? get this wrong. Shay Shay Leon. Okay, I'm sorry. What was the name your mom gave you? Because my, my my government name is Leon, but it's okay, my name. Okay, Leon. Okay, Leon. 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 <sighs> Again, this is a suite, and you will be working in the open with myself and my clients who are accustomed to having a professional setting. Um, and I don't think it would be appropriate for you to have someone come in and have a landing strip, an airport, a plane, their baby daddy's name. Put on. I don't, I don't, I, or whatever you do, that's not what we're about here. Okay, so are you I trying am. to say that you're not open for new ideas? I'm sorry. If you consider that a new idea, then I'm going to give you a phone number to someone else because this, this, we're not going to do that here. Hey, listen. We're not having, we're my, not my, having problem, my problem is this. I'm we're calling not, you. We're not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You called my salon. Where, where did you even get my number from? Why? What made you think that you could call my shop and that this is what we do and you could come here and you could do that? Well, I'm thinking that you would be open for something new. No, but why something... would you think that I'd be open for that? Who, who told you that? What? I mean, you I'm not, came I'm all the way from that, California. I'm not saying that someone you came, told you me that. You came all the way from California and you called me. You're not coming to my salon to call your name, anybody else's name, any type of landing strip, any type of initials, okay? This is a professional salon, and we style hair. The hair on the hair. That is what I'm doing, lady. I'm styling hair. Did you that is what the head head did you not hear? Does. What part of she, the head did you I said Shay Leon styles hair. That's what Shay Leon does. Look. I, you, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you already. So you know what? This is not even going to work. This is not even going to work. Again, we're not doing that here in my shop. I'm sorry. I hope you can call someone else, and maybe they'll accept your craft. I'm sorry that your career would not be as successful as, as you would like it to be because you're not open for new ideas. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is looking me. For my something salon different. is very successful, thank you. You know what? I'm going to come over there and pass out flyers in front oh, of your shop. Letting them know about Shay Leon and letting them know also that you are not who you really are. When are you coming? Are you coming today? Don't worry about when I'm coming. I know where you are. I'm here right now. Can you come today? Please come. I'm coming today. Please come over here because I'm going to be that outside waiting for your Bring your over here. Bring it. Because you're not about to stand outside in front of my salon and degrade my salon. What you're not going to do is deny Shay Leon. You're not going to deny Shay Leon. Please come over here because you will catch the first thing. They smoke it back to California. If you bring your over here. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Thing to say to me. Shay Leon has one more thing he needs to say. Are you listening to Shay Leon? What, what? What is it? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend Michelle. What? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm going to kick your <laughs> and hers. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Oh, God. Hey, baby, I got one more thing I need Oh, God. What, what else you got to say? What is the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? That's, that's my favorite. It's huh? going to be you. Uh-huh. Anybody? That's my favorite. I like that one. You play too much. Yeah, way too much. <laughs> Come on. Uh, what's your name? Yo, what's your mama name? Leon. 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 Yeah, your government name. Uh, I love play this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. You're, you're done right now. Uh, coming up at the top of the hour, entertainment and national news right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Still trending a little of that black girl magic. Let's talk about it. Simone Biles solidified her status as the world's greatest gymnast. OK, I'm going to say Not that yet. again. I Simone so. Biles solidified her status as the world's greatest gymnast. At the United States Championships, Simone Biles landed two first ever maneuvers in competition on Saturday. Simone successfully dismounted from the balance beam with a double backflip and a double twist. What? Stop. Yes. Yes. What? Her body. I, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because if I get up there, I don't know which way I'm supposed to turn. No. <laughs> and how high she yeah. went. Oh. Yes. Okay. Then on Sunday, her floor exercise featured a double backflip and get this, a triple. I said triple. 
twist. Yeah. 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 I saw <sighs> it. Yeah. I mean, twisting your body three times. Yeah. After you. After. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if she's able to duplicate these feats again in October's World Championships, the gymnastics world will name the maneuvers after her. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah. I love that. Look at that. She's Ain't doing, doing the Simone. She's doing, she's the, doing Simone. the Simone Biles right now. Uh, she I mean, twisted like licorice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's also the favorite to gold medal at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. We'll be yeah, watching. Beat her. Yeah, we'll be watching. And, After let, this. And, and let us say she's a native Houstonian. We got to put that yes. out there. Yes, she is. Yes, yes she is. See, she lives in my neighborhood. I, I was going to ask you about hey, that. Hey, Tommy, yeah. drop, you drop something. No. <laughs> Simone Biles. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was well packed. <laughs> nah, but I don't see her at the supermarket. Like, mm, there goes Simone. <laughs> hey, Simone. Her legs. Oh uh, my God. They're so muscular. Muscular, man. They're so defined. Defined. Definition. Yeah. Yeah, she's a bad girl. Yeah, she's the goat. Yes, she, she is. is. Make no <laughs> mistake. All right, in other entertainment news, Rihanna may be a millionaire, but she's not too good to buy her own groceries, okay? She was spotted picking up some wine, some basil, and other gourmet items at a market in Los Angeles. Uh, she was even pushing her own cart. And even though Riri is an international superstar she was out and about with the regular people doing regular things. Girl, everybody that. can't pick your basil, though. You yeah, gotta be able to pick yeah. your own. I basil love now. me some basil. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can't mm-hmm. Just yes. send nobody Put to the store go get me some basil. They ain't yeah. gonna pick that right. <laughs> uh, Riri even tried samples of pizza when they had some pizza. You mm-hmm. know, she got her a little sample. I love that. Okay. I do. I, I love, love that. Her. I love her. Did they yeah, say what store she was at? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I need to go find this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she probably when, won't go there anymore. Yeah. 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 When did Junior start working at aisle five? I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right in there. Can you hear him? Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, anybody, Riri. Anybody need basil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basil, <laughs> line four. Yeah. Aisle four. Right All right, here we go. And finally, Drake believes he is bigger than the Beatles. Uh, uh, Drake okay, documented Drake. it with the tattoo, the new it ink. might be true, though. Yeah, it might be true. Bigger yeah, than the and Beatles. it's okay if he's bigger than the Beatles. It's okay. Uh, it's all right. The new ink implica- uh, replicates the Beatles' iconic Abbey Road album cover of the four members. Remember that, Walking Across yeah. the Street? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the left forearm tattoo. Really, he got all that? Are his... Four Surely, arms, all, that all this is ever since Toronto won. That's all. Uh, That's yes, you're right. I think you're right about that. I really think you're right about that. Uh, the left forearm tattoo features Drake leading the band one step ahead of them. He's not completely wrong. According to Billboard, Drake surpassed two Beatles uh, chart records. Last year, uh, Drake was... Um, he has seven top ten songs for the week for one week and twelve of his own songs from the Scorpion album charted on the Hot 100. The Beatles had eleven at the height of their popularity in 1964. So it's Go okay. On, it's about time. Yeah, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Uh, love the Beatles. Love Drake. Oh, and one more thing. Drake's Care Package album will debut at number one on this week's Billboard 200 album chart today. Congratulations <laughs> well, well, again, Drake. Drizzy. Okay. Love him. Love him. Love him. All right, nephew, let's get caught up. Today's headline. All right, we have her. She is here, Miss Ann Tripp, with National News. This is Ann Tripp with the news, everybody, and good morning. The Trump administration, now listen to this, taking steps to make it harder for even legal immigrants to stay here. A new policy would allow authorities to deny green cards to immigrants who use food stamps, Medicaid, or any other form of public assistance. And immigration attorney Stephen Yayar tells NPR that the aim is to discourage people who are not, quote, self-sufficient from coming to this country. Previous administrations had basically drawn the line at cash benefits. This administration is moving the line so that people who now receive certain non-cash benefits like Medicaid and food stamps now will be considered to possibly be ineligible for green cards. The Trump administration doesn't want so-called public charges to be allowed to live and work here permanently or become citizens. The new rules take effect two months from now, by the way. On the conservation uh, tr- uh, front, the Trump administration is also making major changes to the Endangered Species Act. The administration says changes are being made in order to reduce needless paperwork and provide gl- greater clarity. However, critics say the changes will now put more endangered species at risk. A recent U.N. report said as many as one million 
species are at risk of extinction in the coming decades. Federal authorities in Ohio have arrested and charged a friend of the gunman who they say killed nine people and injured dozens of others in an entertainment district of Dayton, Ohio. Authorities say 24-year-old Ethan Colley purchased body armor and a high-capacity magazine for his friend, but uh, didn't say he says he didn't know what his friend was planning. Uh, Ethan Colley is charged with buying and owning firearms while using drugs. The gunman is Connor Betts. He murdered six uh, black people and three others, including his sister, and was shot and killed by police. U.S. Attorney General William Barr vowing that his prosecutors are going to continue to investigate alleged underage prostitution run by accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, even though Epstein is dead. Let me assure you that this case will continue on against anyone who was complicit with Epstein. Any co-conspirators should not rest easy. The victims deserve justice and they will get it. William Barr, who refused just last month to prosecute a police officer, Daniel Panaleo, for the killing of Mr. Eric Garner, says he was appalled and angry to learn of the Manhattan Correctional Center's failure to protect Epstein's life. Finally, today is National Stop Stealing the Covers in the Bed Day. Room for one more. The stain comes out of that room, looks at me and says, room for one more, honey. Ah, now back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now. For a trending sports news with Junior. All right, come on, Junior. Preseason NFL is here. What's happening? Okay. Uh, you know, right now, the big story right now is uh, Antonio Brown. What? Yeah. From the what Raiders. That, yeah. From the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, Brown filed a grievance uh, against the league in order to get permission to wear his preferred helmet. But uh, now that helmet that Antonio wants to wear, is it, they don't make it no more. Mm-hmm. You know, it, okay. it hadn't made it since 2011. And okay. it could not be recertified for 2019. So the helmet ain't here. Now you be, now he he making thirty me. Yeah. Let's not uh-huh. make this helmet the problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 not make this you helmet got, the problem. You got helmet money. You can get any kind of helmet you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no, he can't because he can't get the one he wants. What if he signed a release form? You know, like if you, if something happened to you, you can't. He can throw sign it back the on release there. form, Tommy. But they don't make the helmet. Oh. They're not gonna give it to him. The helmet yeah. don't even get made no more. But I'm with well, you. He Junior. wants the one he had. Yeah. I'm with you, Junior. Don't let don't make this hey, about the helmet. Don't make this about and the helmet. Thirty million. Don't make thirty million. Make thirty million. I play without a helmet. Okay. Give me the one. Give me <laughs> thirty give me. million. I swear yeah, I play I'm without a helmet. You. you will not hit my head. I promise you no, won't. No, give me the one they. What's the first one they wore? The one on the side with no face mask, uh, leather helmet. That leather one. That leather that helmet. Leather. Put oh, yeah. that on <laughs> for thirty million. The leather head. Dog, give me that. I, I, I swear I'm leading head first. Thirty million in the season. Quit talking like he gonna quit. I'm not gonna play. He threatening not to play. Junior. But the, Junior, did you hear the about the grievance yesterday? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about Yeah, that? I heard about the grievance. I just sitting there shaking my head. It's you making 30 me. Right. I'm shaking my head while you're telling the story right now. Why in the hell is you not playing? <laughs> well, his grievance was denied. Yeah, they told it, him no. N- they told him no. You gonna, well, there's other people that didn't get the helmet that they wanted. Tom like, Brady, Brady didn't he get the helmet he didn't he wanted. He want the one he got. Right. He didn't get that one. But he what? Went out there and played. Tom Hello. Brady. Tom he, had Brady. Pra- he had practice. He had practice. Yeah, come on. He complied. Yeah. 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 It's crazy now. Come yeah. on, Antonio. Yeah. Now, yeah. you're doing too much now. Yeah. Now, you got you wanted out the Steelers, you're out. Now, you Gonna make about the hell. You're definitely not setting a good example. No. That's for sure. No, no, no. You're not doing that, man. He's but gonna play. He's he will have play. to. He He's just wants. Is he no, just he drawing is. attention to this? That's it. Oh, That's okay. what I think it is. Surely. That's it. Attention. It's for attention. You got a thirty million dollars yes. extension. You sitting up here crying about a helmet, man? Please, <laughs> boy, if you don't put this, you don't put, put that damn, damn helmet, helmet on. on. You... Where your mama at? Get your ass out there and play. I'll go out there and put Tommy's hat on. We'll wear Tommy's hat out there. Tommy's got a real nice fedora sitting right there. It doesn't look anything like a helmet, no. but I'll wear that. wear that. I can play in that hat, and you're not going to hit me for 30 minutes. You not get ready to post this, Tommy. I'll tell you right now, Tommy. I wear a construction hat. Okay. Give me that. Okay. Okay. Give, me, give me something. I'm about the hat. Junior, Junior. Huh? Antonio Brown, is he the league's greatest wide receiver? Is he? He's one of them. He's one of them. He's one of them, I think wow. he's up there. I mean, it's Julio Jones. Uh-huh. I think bit, um I think Antonio Brown. Oh, he's a he's a like he's one a bad a, one boy. B, either one. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Whoa. Junior. Uh, coming up next yeah. at 34 after the hour, some back to school shopping. Uh, some spending is up. Okay, and J. Anthony Brown will murder another hit. All that coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
All right, so before you know it, the kids will be back in school. A lot of kids already went back this week, uh, not to mention in some parts of the country, the kids, like I said, are already back in school. Now, according to Yahoo Finance, uh, parents expect to spend around $507 shopping for the new school year. That's a lot of money. $40, yes. 40 more dollars than last year. And as for what they'll be spending their money on, all right, let's break it down for you. $212 on clothes. That's mm. up from $189 from last year. $209 on electronics, guys. That's up from $186. They're going to spend $104 on shoes. That's up from $95. And, all right, parents with still school-age children, what do you have to say? I, 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 you know what bothers me is my kids. <laughs> Your uh, forehead in, is really wrinkled yes, up right now. Yes, it's wrinkled up. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, my, is but my stressful. kids in private school and still need some extra stuff. Yeah, they have uniforms. Uh, this bothers me. Matter of fact. They ought to have sock day. Well, we don't wear these shoes all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know, sock it's day. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. Now, my my daughter, she doesn't wear uniforms. This is her first year mm -hmm. not wearing uniforms. Uh -huh. She's going to middle school. So at the end of this school year, this past school year, she told me th to give away all her uniforms. First, she said, throw them away. I said, no, throw them we're away. Gonna yeah. We're yeah. going to give them away. You donate. Yes, and so now but school shopping, and you got to follow the school rules. It's it's stressful. Uh -huh. They got to have this outfit. They want this look, and then they have names for different style. Are you a skateboard oh, yeah. girl? Are you with this girl? Mm -hmm. Are you dressed yeah. like this? Are you a fly? What? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. It's too much. And everybody they? got a computer, Carla. Oh, oh you yeah. Have to have yeah, that. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have to have everybody yeah. got a computer. Yeah, they, they, they don't have books. They do have, they have books, books, but they have to have laptops. They have to, and yeah, they have to have all that. Sheridan went to private school. She had to have all wow. that too, uniforms, all of that. All of that. Yeah, but yeah, you know, crazy. the public school list. You, you, and you want to help the teachers out. They still need stuff in the school. So then, I like to donate to the classroom as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you got a lot yeah. of teachers that really, you know, use they dig, they, they use their own into money, their man. Own pockets. They really yes. do. They do for supplies right. and stuff for the kids, and we commend you educators who do that big ups thank to the you. teachers thank the you. educators we love, we love you guys all so much. yes yes yeah I know. So so big to job. the parents out there Man. when the teachers are asking the things that the classroom need if you can help them out help them out because they're using their own money for that absolutely yeah, yeah. <sighs> one school. day one day the kids will realize what sacrifices their parents made. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A computer? I wish I would tell my mom I need a computer for class. <laughs> Matter of fact, we would get in trouble if we pulled out a computer or a yeah. calculator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, calculator? He cheat. Yeah. You better yeah. do it, yeah, in your head. Let me see your work. Well, listen, <laughs> speaking of school, uh -huh. Uh -huh. our dear family member, J. Anthony Brown, yeah. mm -hmm. left us a murder to hit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one right here is called School Clothes. Got new clothes. Got That's new right. clothes. Mm -hmm. Got oh. new clothes. Here oh you go. Boy. <laughs> Come on, Jay. <laughs> Jay Anthony. Anthony. Jay. Jay. Jay Anthony. Jay. Jay A.B. Got some news for you. Jay Anthony. Jay A.B. Got some news for you. I ain't rich, but you can't mess with me, because all my stuff is new. These ain't knockoffs, because my daddy got them. These my school shoes from the stove. And I got some more. These is brand new. I know you sick, so you can shut your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Look, I eat hot lunch, and I got money, too. I'll lend you a pair if you want me to. I wear a new pair every week. You lucky that I speak to you. I got money. My stepdad is rich, and I drive to school. Now it's time for some fake Spanish. I really hope that I don't offend. Better so, oh my get it, get on and buy a mini, mini, money, more, oh no, better get it, bump, bubblegum, 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 Jay, we love you. Thank you we for that. Jay. Yeah, we love you. Mm -hmm. I, love Jay. I know, wow. I know. He knows how to do it, doesn't he? Got new oh. clothes is the name of that one. All right, uh, thank you, Jay. Coming up next, Nephew Tommy is here to uh, make us laugh, of course, with today's prank phone call. That's coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, uh, you're not as fine as you think. Hmm. Who you right ta- now. Who you talking to? <laughs> who you think you're talking to? Uh, sure. That's the subject of the letter. Uh, okay. Hit dog, we'll holler though. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we got hit, didn't he? In his mind, yeah. right? Right now, Nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Nephew? Alarm alert. Oh, alarm alert. Alarm alert. Sounds very simple, right? it does. Right? it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alarm alert. Come on, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Denise, please. Yeah, this is Denise. Hi, Denise. This is Tony. I'm calling security. Um, Oh. We've got an alarm alarm that's gone off on you guys' property. Are are you guys... um, We're just checking before we send authorities out. Is everything okay? Did maybe someone trip the alarm? Oh, my gosh. No, I'm at work. I'm, okay. I'm at work right now. I'm not home. Okay. Do you have a pet or dog or anything that could actually trip the alarm? No, no. It's, that's strange. It never goes off like that. I'm okay. kind of nervous. So, okay. Give me a second. We've got a call into the uh, neighborhood security that uh, actually are en route to the property, and they were going to give us um, some information before we actually sent the uh, sent uh, the police officers out. Unless you would like for me to send them out now, but I yeah, I feel like I, you should send the police. I mean, if I'm not home and nobody's home and my alarm's going off and it never goes off, that I'm worried. Okay, hang on one second. This is neighborhood security calling. Now. Hang on one second. I'll be right back to you. Uh, okay. Denise, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Okay. They they have um they they're out there on the property. The neighborhood security. Do you, um, oh, good. there is a black guy that is on your premise. Are you familiar with okay. who that might be? Well, I mean, my husband's black, but he should be at work right now. Okay. So definitely. All right, let me, yeah. let, okay. And he probably would have texted me if, you know, the alarm was going off. Okay. Well, I mean, do you have any other black male friends? Excuse me? Do, do, do you I have any other do you have any other black male friends that might be at the house? I mean, yeah, I. It's a very weird question. I mean, I have black friends, yes, but I don't think they would be in my house. Okay. Well, I mean, should we just assume that this is your husband? What do you think? I, I, I mean, what what no, would you I like mean, for me? My to... husband's at work. I, I mean, uh, what? How tall is this person? My husband's six uh, three. He's a Hold on one second. Guy. Hold on one second. Let me go back to the, uh, the security from the neighborhood. Hang on one second. Yeah, no, somebody's in my house. My alarm's going off. I, I don't know. I mean. Okay, Denise. Yes. Okay, they have a the black guy that they're looking at is about five foot ten, uh, maybe late twenties. How old is your husband? No, <laughs> my husband is. I just told you that my husband's not there. He would have texted me or called me and told me that he accidentally set the alarm off. And I, I'm okay. actually going to text him. I mean, this is crazy. I, I should probably call him. Okay. I mean, you, you, do realize if we send, you do realize if we send the authorities out and this is a false call that you're going to get charged for that. You do know that, right? A false call? You just said somebody's in my house, and it's not me or my husband. Right. So I mean, you should be charging me for that. You, you're saying your husband's black, and then there's a black guy there. I mean, they probably know each other, right? Are you f-ing kidding me? What kind of question is that? Did they, I, why, because they're both black? I'm just trying to save you some money, ma'am. I don't want to send out police officers when they get there, and then all of a sudden your husband knows the black guy, or he's he's a relative or something. I mean, do, do they? I mean, you know, do you want to oh, call and see if you're? Oh my god! Well, you think like. <laughs> This is really offensive, and and I don't understand if I'm telling you that I don't know who the person is in my house. That means okay. that you should send the police. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, okay. You I'll, think I'll, what? I'll, my black, my I'll, black. Hang on, they're, call, they're calling black. back. The neighborhood. Hey, just hold on one second, Denise. The neighborhood okay. security's calling back here. Uh, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, Denise, now. The, the security in the neighborhood, they're telling me that uh, this guy just drove out of the garage in a white pickup. Do you do you guys have a white pickup? Yes, we do. So this guy just pulled out of your, your, your garage in a white pickup. Well, I have my car at work, and my husband has his car. That's like the, the truck that he uses on the weekends 
for like construction and stuff. So that means somebody just stole our car. I can't believe this is happening. You are watching somebody in my house, and you you basically watch them steal my truck. Well, we're, well, well, we're, I'm going to go ahead now and get the police to go over. Now? Okay. Now, why the f- are you going to send them now? He probably took all my sh- in my house. I mean, by um, the, time the police get there, there's not going to be anything left in my house. He'll probably just steal okay. the back of the I, truck. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to help. I know. What the f- what is it going to do me now? I mean, the whole time you've been talking to me, he's been. Cleaning out my house out and stealing. Well, how did he get in your house? I don't know. I don't know this guy. You're okay, interrogating well, me? What the? F- I was asking you, how could somebody get in your house? What, what, did you leave something open? What, what, what did you go? Okay. Do? Listen, you would know because I wouldn't have been able to set my alarm this morning if something was open. It would beep and it wouldn't let me set the alarm. And the fact that you're interrogating me when somebody's robbing my house you need to do your job i need to call my husband you're you're wasting my time i I mean by the time the police get there it's going to be tomorrow so you're gonna so you're gonna call daryl now i'm sorry you're gonna call daryl now how the do you know my husband's name (laughs) hello Denise, this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband Daryl got me to prank phone call. Oh my God! <laughs> I was gonna come down there and. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so nobody stole my truck, right? <laughs> nobody stole your truck. Nobody's at your house. Your alarm is fine. Everything is good. But oh Daryl told God. me he said we got to get my wife. We got to get her good. Oh, that's said, so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get you? Oh my god, I was sweating. I was so angry. I was sweating over here. <laughs> All right, so tell me this: what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Funny! <laughs> 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 oh my god! I think I might have went. You think? Too far. Oh. Yeah. This, 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 you know what? This might be the first time I think I went too far. Yeah, because you time. never. The first time. The first time. Yeah. That he thinks it. Yeah. That but he think. thinks it. Wow. Well, well I'm, I'm, a, yeah. I'm, I'm a prankologist, okay? So, and when you, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a prankologist. So, so I, what's the line? So where do you think, what made this prank make you feel like you just went over that line? There is no Ooh, line. I just, I think I took the lady a little too far. You know, she married uh-huh. to the white lady, you know, very nice lady, married to the black guy. I just, uh-huh. I just it was just a bit much. You, you pushed know. a button a bit. I yeah. pushed it. Yeah, I, I just kind of went a little too far. When you reel oh. yourself in, mm. that's, that's mm. scary. Yeah. When you feel mm-hmm. to yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. You but I didn't stop, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, yeah. Well, I needed to that's finish it. That's the scary it, part, yeah. I had to finish my part. Uh-huh. But I'm just saying, though. I'm mm-hmm. just saying. I did what I needed to do. Gotcha. You know. Prankologists always know that you have to finish your prank. Mm-hmm. You know? And I want to oh, take time right now for all the people... All the people that stop me and tell me how they love the pranks, they love the pranks. I love you back. I hope y'all, I hope it gets you to work in the morning with a smile on your face. Everybody's got their favorite one. Everybody always stopping me. And a couple people like, you know, try to charge me up. Like, you know, you ain't going to get me with all that. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> and as soon as you say that, I get the, get your phone number from the person that's with you. That's right. I'm waiting for Vanessa Bell uh, Calloway it's to get happen. pranked. Yes, it's gonna happen. that's our girl. I'm waiting. <laughs> she challenged you. Yeah, she challenged you. All right. All right, nephew. Thank you. Coming up, Strawberry Letter. uh, Subject, you are not as fine as you think. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys. It's time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And listen, if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to Steve Harvey FM and click Submit Strawberry letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, (laughs) right now, today. (laughs) Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the strawberry letter. All right, nephew, thank you. Subject, you are not as fine as you think, okay? (laughs) Dear Stephen Shirley, recently I noticed that there are a lot of women that think they got it going on and don't mind bragging on how fine they are. There is nothing that turns me off more than a woman that thinks she is God's gift to man. 
nothing. Uh, you, you know who I'm talking about, the ones that walk around like their ish doesn't stink. Uh, I was married to a gorgeous sister, and the best thing about her was the fact that she wasn't stuck on herself, and she always had a great attitude. Women don't realize that looks will fade in the long run. It's a great personality and brains that will matter most. Most men are idiots and will lie to women to get what they want from them, huh, but not me. So since being single, I'm having trouble meeting a good woman that has something to bring to the table besides looks. I was raised by a good woman that was a teacher for 35 years and she was smart down to earth and she took care of her body and family. Uh, I'm well-traveled, speak two languages, and I have a great job, but I've met many women that have no ambition to rise above their current status in life. Their conversational skills are low, and all they want to talk about is social media or uh, current movies. If you mention politics, the conversation dies uh, because they aren't up to speed with current events. These women are like a Ferrari with no engine, useless. I can't have I can't just have a fine woman to show off. I need one that enjoys good conversation and the finer things in life. Is it wrong to think that women should bring a little something to the table besides looks and a great body? Can you please help me out here? Well, uh who died wow. and made you a uh, judgment of all? Oh. I mean, come on, seriously. Uh, let me get this straight. You don't like women who you say brag about how fine they are. And let me ask you something. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in the world. I mean, you know, this current president. I mean, just, you know, I, I mean, everything that's going on in the world and the thing that turns you off most in the world is a woman who talks about how fine she is. Really? How shallow are you? Uh, and, 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 and let me also say this. Uh, <clears throat> you don't like a woman who brags about herself, but in the letter you say you was ra you were raised by a good woman. You're 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 well traveled. You speak two languages. You have a great job. Okay, what are you doing? You're bragging about who you are. I think you're very judgmental. I think uh, the line you say about these women are like Ferraris with no engine. You call them useless. I mean, who made you judge and jury? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, and, and what do you want a woman to bring to the table? I think most women know that, that uh, looks will fade and, and things like that. So, you know, a lot of people say while they have it, they flaunt it. Okay, while they have it, they flaunt it. Uh, but you, young man, uh, you, <laughs> what are you bringing to the table? Um, seriously, but a, but a lot of judgment, um, but a whole lot of judgment. You, you say, you even talk about... Uh, men, you say most men are idiots and will lie to women to get what they want from them, but not you. Uh, so since being single, you have trouble meeting a good woman that has something to bring to the table besides looks. So obviously you like good looking women. You Obviously you like that. Obviously, because that's what you talk about mostly. And what I don't know a man alive that doesn't love a beautiful woman. I mean, so... Why don't you get to know them a little more? Why, you know, it's nothing wrong with being confident and, um, you know, uh, knowing what you look like and appreciating your oneself and all that. I thought men liked confidence. Are, are you tearing that whole? Is that a myth now? Because uh, that's what it sounds like to me. You, these women are confident. They know who they are and all of this. And, um, you know, I think you're very judgmental. I think you're braggadocious as well. And um, I think that this is what you're going to attract because this is what you're putting out there. There are plenty of beautiful women with brains and ambition and stuff like that. Why don't you try, instead of judging them, why don't you try to find that in your life? Jesus. I, I don't, I'm mad at wow. him. I don't like him that much. I'm mad at him. Mm -hmm. They're useless? He called women useless? Women She's are like whack. a Ferrari with no engine. Come on. I don't like you. <laughs> you're right, you're judging. You're judging yeah. them. I, I don't care for that. All right, Junior, your turn. This is nobody but an old, unattractive, judgmental <laughs> ass you know, man. You know, this uh, it. Uh -huh. That's all that's all you is. And then here's the other thing, too. That's why the last one left. Cause you're so judgmental. Mm. I was married. Oh, you not married no more? <laughs> Oh, your old ugly ass ain't married no more. Because, see, people that's single, they don't write into this show. They ain't got time. They single. They meeting. They write. They going on dates. 
Mm. Now here you went right into some strangers and you want to help your problem. Your problem is you judgmental. Mm -hmm. How dare you speak of women like that? Man, my mother is one of the coldest women I've ever known. Come on, boy. Shirley Strawberry is one of the coldest women I've ever known. Carla Farrell is one of the coldest women I've ever known. You must not know women. You must not know women. Man, you give a woman anything to give you more back in return. You stupid fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. The hell is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You give women groceries, they give you a meal. Huh? You give money, they take care of a house. That's why you ain't with nobody. Mm. That's what your same problem is, man. Man, you need to go find something else to do with you, man. I ain't got time for that. I'm about to find you and whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mess yeah, around I, and do. I don't care for, for him. For women. I don't care for no, him. No, this, uh, this, this dude here. Yeah. No. All right, listen. Um, <laughs> we'll be back with part two of this letter. Uh, the subject, you're not as fine as you think you are. <laughs> Neither are you. How about that? <laughs> All right. We'll recap the letter when we come back. The subject is... You're not as fine as you think. We'll talk about it more at 23 after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, let's recap this strawberry letter. Um, the subject, you're not as fine as you think you are. This man wrote in, okay? He notices that there are a lot of women now that uh, think they got it going on and don't ma mind bragging on how fine they are. He's saying there's nothing that turns him off more than a woman who thinks she's God's gift to the world. Well, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff going on in the world. This is what concerns you, sir. Uh, he's And then he tries to make friends with us by saying, you know who I'm talking about, the ones that walk around like their ish doesn't stink. He's saying he was married to a gorgeous sister. The best thing about her was the fact that she wasn't stuck on herself, and she always had a great attitude. Key word in that sentence is was, okay? You were married to her. And then he's trying to tell women about themselves saying that women don't realize that looks will fade and in the long run it's a great personality and brains that will matter. We know that. We know that we're never going to be as fine as we were in our 20s and you know, we know that. We get it. Our mothers teach us that, okay? Um, so you don't have to tell us that. You're being very judgmental here. Uh, he's saying since being single he's had trouble meeting a good woman that has something to bring to the table besides looks. Then he talks about himself. He says he's well-traveled, he speaks two languages, and he has a great job. Okay, so now you're bragging about yourself. So do you like bragging or you don't like bragging? Right. You're confusing, all right? He's saying that women only want to talk about social media and current movies now. All right, you know, keep it light on the first couple of dates. Okay, you want to talk about politics. Polit we can't escape politics. Everybody we don't, can't. Everybody don't care yeah, politics. and everybody doesn't have to talk about politics. Everybody's not into it, okay? Um, <laughs> he wants to talk about the finer things in life, he says. So he's asking, is it wrong to think that women should bring a little more to the table besides looks and a great body? I mean, come on, come on, come on. Can you please help me out here? Yeah, stop being so judgmental. All right, nephew, what you got? You are stupid every day. <laughs> Even I know better, and I come from stupid. <laughs> I come from stupid. Yeah. But I know this is just beyond right here. Yeah. yeah. You have lost your mind. You don't know what you, you listen, let me tell you something. You speak two languages, and we still don't want to hear you. <laughs> you got two languages. You got two languages. I don't want to hear now one of them that you talking. I like it. I Ain't like nobody it. finna sit in and get with you about you putting some sisters or some ladies down. If you no. lost your mind, no. I want to hear everything a woman want to talk about. If it's movies, look, my, my, my wife rolled in, she talked about Cardi B. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about Atlanta Housewives. We gonna talk about Kim Kardashian. Yeah. D guess what though? We gonna talk about Trump. But guess what? Don't nobody want to talk about Trump all damn day. No. You uh -huh. don't talk about politics. Don't nobody want to talk about all that all day. It's depressing. <laughs> yes. What bothers me is is that you're trying to judge some sisters that want to compliment themselves. They want to talk about how fly they look. That's nothing wrong with that. That's nothing but confidence. That's all that's that is. All it is. That's, that's all, all that's, it that's is. That's all a sister doing. She's showing you the confidence she has within herself. Nothing wrong with that, brother. You need to regroup and check yourself. That's right. Now, I don't know what happened in your, your, your marriage. marriage. I don't know. You know, if she passed away, uh, uh, you know, he God rest her. That. No, he would have said, said that. She left. Okay. She left. She yeah. left, too. Yeah, yeah she they left. divorced. She left, too. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. So you need to check yourself and find out why people are leaving you. He says men are idiots. He, he said he that in the letter. So women, he don't he respect know. me and Junior either. No, he said men are idiots who lie to women to get what they want from them. He says, but not me. 
Oh, okay. your ass is in the okay. group too. Well, 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 no, 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 no. Here's the problem. Here. That's why you by yourself. You yeah. need to get the line yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> so, you need to get the line. Yeah. And you think you know women better than women know women? Come on, Let's come on, man. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nah, Come he's on. stupid. Whatever women want to talk about, I'm dead show sure interested in. But, but he's a contradiction, though. But I have seen mm-hmm. brothers like this a thousand times, mm-hmm. and every last one of them are by themselves. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think he's intimidated by a beautiful woman. I think that's what it comes down to. He's intimidated. He doesn't yeah. like a woman to brag about her looks, but here he is. I, I can't read this sentence enough. I'm well-traveled, speak two languages, and I have a great job. What is that? But you didn't say your ass was fine, uh, he though, did did not. He well, did not. He did not. But if you well travel, going back to this. If you well travels, do us a favor. Fly your ass up out of here. <laughs> Get on read up out read of here. the line again, Shirley. It says, I'm well traveled, uh-huh. speak two languages, uh-huh. and I have a great job. But your ass is up. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to keep going back to and that. And by yourself. And yeah. by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> he talks about women. Their conversational skills mm-hmm. are low. Mm-hmm. All they want to talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, and then go, he go says, ahead, these women are like a Ferrari with no engine. Useless. That's the line. That, yet, uh, yeah. yet, your ass is ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and he ain't got no Ferrari. But how dare you call women useless? Come on. Come on now. Check oh. yourself. Yeah. You need to check yeah. yourself, yeah. brother. He really does. Because yeah. ladies are the backbone hey. of this nation, mm-hmm. and you need to know that. Yeah. yeah. He he can't just have a fine woman to show off. Uh, he uh-huh. needs one that enjoys good conversation and the finer things in life. But the problem is, your ass ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you and can't you, get one. And you're not a finer thing in life. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> know that about uh-huh. yourself, young man. Yeah. yeah. And then he's going to try to be our friends. That that other line that I, I threw out there again, you you know who I'm talking about. Well, there's nothing that turns me off more than a woman that thinks she's God's gift to the world. You know who I'm talking about. Like, he's friends with us. You know who I'm talking no, about. The no. ones that walk around like their ish doesn't stink. You ain't with us. Let's, uh-huh. let's get that understood. You ain't with us. But no. what we do know. What? Your ass is a... <laughs> I need to, to reinstate this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, look, we got to get out of here. Email us or Instagram us your thoughts on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM or check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. Now, coming up at 46 after the hour, we'll talk about comedy roulette with the fellas We're right after roulette. this. I ain't never doing roulette. Oh. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey, it's your girl Shirley Strawberry here. Has this happened to you? You're out with your girls. You're having a great time. You're laughing. The next thing you know, a little bladder leak. Your period panty liner might work, but I can tell you it won't work as well as always discreet liners. I bet you didn't even know you had a better option, but always discreet absorbs more to keep you feeling fresh and drier. So you could try to stop laughing. You gotta try always discreet liners. Pick up a pack at CVS. All right, guys, time now for a comedy roulette. Uh, explain the segment, guys. Yeah, this is comedy roulette, mm-hmm. you know. We have four different things on the wheel. We spin it, and where it lands, you know, we the comedy geniuses. Did I say that right? The comedic geniuses. Mm-hmm. We, we make it do what it do. We okay. have no idea where it's going to land. And, uh, you know, Shirley, you spin it. We'll, we don't want to stop. We'll, uh, All we'll, right. we'll jump right on it. That's how we do it. All right, That's let's fun. go. But, uh, you want me to do one? I'm a comedian, and Junior's a comedian, and we're both comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Represent J.S. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Baby. <laughs> All right, here are today's categories. Excuses people make when pulled over for speeding. Uh. Mm. Okay. That's a good Uh, one. Yeah, things people say when the kids catch you having sex, Junior. Uh Uh Uh-huh. I hear that. (laughs) Things people say when they don't like the potato salad that Big Mama made. Oh. (laughs) You better not say a You better not say anything. Silence. All right. And what you say to people who wear way too much cologne. I hope it stops on that one. I hope it stops on I that one. I can work that. Too. Yeah. yeah. All right, come on. Let's spin it, cat. Oh. It might be cologne. Oh, I uh, hope it's cologne. Uh, or the tea. Oh, man. Tea. What? what? Which one? It landed on things people say when the kids catch you having sex. Okay. Oh, ah, this we'll really happened it. to ah. Junior. Oh, my God. I did this. <laughs> I walked in, you catch your parents having sex, and the first thing they turn, I said, why you not sleep? <laughs> why is you not sleep? <laughs> ah, Woo. that's it. All right, all right. Things lot. you say when your kids walk in and catch you having sex. <laughs> mm-hmm. Listen, that air conditioner then went out. Mm. 
So that's why me and your mama ain't got no clothes. It's hot in here. This guy, this thing got hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's it's, a thing. It's, it's hot. I don't I know like what's that. wrong with that air back here. I don't know what that is. These are things people say when the kids catch you having sex. <laughs> oh, my God. Close my door. <laughs> there ain't nothing else to say. Ain't nothing to say. Close <laughs> my <laughs> door. <laughs> Junior, you, this really happened to yeah. you. Uh, multiple times. <laughs> These multiple are real times. life moments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Things you say when uh, your kids walk in and catch you having sex. Um, uh, um, we, <laughs> we, we wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's May, but we got a sale. We wrapping Christmas presents. Yeah. Now, if y'all come here again, you're not going to get what we got for you. <laughs> but it's August, right? Yeah. Don't worry it's about August, month. but we got a sale. That's We, we wrapping it up. Wow. <laughs> These are things people say when the kids catch you having sex. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. don't let me catch you doing this. You hear? <laughs> don't, 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 don't let me catch you doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you go. You wrong, but then you don't want me doing it. Uh, oh no. All right. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> coming up at the top of the hour, Mystical makes a tumble. Did you guys see this? He takes a tumble, I should say. And Rick Ross, his near bicycle miss. Just look where you're going. Okay. We'll talk about it right after this. I bet he had his shirt open. I bet he did. <laughs> you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, um. The boss, Rick Ross, narrowly avoided a collision with a bike rider after he left a New York City radio station where he was chatting about the new uh, Port of Miami 2 album, which dropped on Friday. TMZ caught the incident on film, of course, and it shows Ricky Rose and a member of his crew. They walked right into a marked bike lane without looking both ways. Ooh, yeah. Ah, we man. know to cross when you cross the street to look both ways, yeah. but those bike lanes in, in New, New York, York yeah. Tem they yeah. coming yeah. though. They they yes. really coming. Yeah. 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 Uh so fortu but fortunately, uh the non too happy cyclist managed to swerve. He went around he Rick Rock. Swerved. Yeah. Ooh, he <laughs> right. went around Rick Rock. He was mad. I saw Yeah, him. he was he mad. mad. Mhm. Mm he yeah. was really, really mad at yeah. Rick. So he avoided them, going? though. Yeah. Quick reflexes yeah. on the bicycle. Was well, Rick's shirt open? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did it fly? Did it fly in the wind when the dude came back? <laughs> I know. I do, too. I do, too. Uh, did he have some lemon pepper wings from Wingstop? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's Rick Ross, baby. Okay. All right, so... And, and this is a, another related story. You got to look where you're going. You have to pay attention. Uh, you know rapper uh, Mystical. Yeah. You know him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Well, he was performing in Tampa last week, and he fell. Oh, he fell hard. According to an eyewitness, a drink was dropped on the stage right before Mystical got there. He hit the stage around 1 a.m. and 30 seconds in, he tumbled off stage. Uh, security helped him Man. up, but he was clearly injured and he was in some pain. You could see it. For the next 45 minutes, uh, Mystical sat on the edge of the stage and scooted around a bit. You know how it is when, yeah. you're, when you're hurting, but you still have to perform. You got to make it do what it do, as nephew says. Mm -hmm. why, but you know what, I, what gets me? Why he ain't take his own advice? Mm -hmm. What? Danger! Uh, Watch uh, yourself! Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Get exactly. off the floor! <laughs> Get off the floor! I <laughs> know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he repeatedly uh. said, man, I need an ambulance. He finally <laughs> ended the show. Uh, now, I got to ask you guys, okay? We heard two near-miss stories right now. One from Rick Ross and then now this one from Mystical. Have you guys ever fell when you weren't looking? What, what were you doing and what happened? Oh, I, I fell about a month Ooh. ago. Oh, did you? Did you? Did you? Down my step. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Russian. Pants wow. got caught on the step and got turned around and fell. <laughs> and I knew it was going to hurt because I was at the same level of the dough handle. <laughs> mm -hmm. And right when I hit that floor, hit my head, I immediately had to put a hat on. Wow. That's why y'all saw me with a hat on. Yeah. I had a knot. You had a knot? I'm under the hat. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Yeah. But you're okay but now. I'm good now. But you're a trooper. But you you came to work. Though. and you yeah, I'm on my way. Cause he, I couldn't tell y'all that. Y'all have been cracking jokes all day. You saw this knot. And he would be. He knows we would have. Take that hat off, yeah. Junior. Take that hat off. <laughs> Let your knot breathe, boy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> last month. What happened to you, nephew? I, I fell off a stage in college. Oh. Yeah. We was doing Shakespeare, doing Shakespeare show. And it was, mm -hmm. it was pitch black. And the, the professor, we was at rehearsal. The, pre uh -huh. the professor is cussing, saying, where is Thomas Miles? I have mm -hmm. completely missed my cue. But uh -huh. here's the deal. In this theater, it's called Rudder Auditorium mm -hmm. at Texas a uh -huh. 
there's bats in the theater. <gasps> Yes. Real bats? Real bats. Oh, no. So And we have been hearing these stories about these oh, bats no. in the theater. So I'm, I'm standing back there. I'm going to make my entrance, but I lie to you not. There is a bat coming straight at me. Ooh. But, oh, God. But we are in the dark. I done slipped and fell my butt off the stage six feet down. Trying to get away from the bat. Trying to get away from the bat. I, I, unfortunately, I didn't break nothing. Uh, and man, fortunately, yeah, fortunately, man. you know, but look at here. The professor didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Damn it, where's Thomas Smile? <laughs> oh, he and y'all know. already know me. I'm, 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 you know, my temper quick. I said, Damn it, I'm on the floor. <laughs> Hell, a bat came at me and I fell off the damn thing. <laughs> and I had to catch myself. Like, Lord, I can cuss this lady out. <laughs> <laughs> the professor. Oh, the professor. I, I said, know. oh, my God, Tom, are you okay? Mm. I said, okay, hold on. No matter what kind of situation we in, I ain't never, I ain't never Tom, okay? I'm either yeah. Thomas or, <laughs> or Tommy, Tommy, but I All ain't right. never Tom. All right, thank you, guys. Coming up, more music, more fun on the Steve Harvey Morning Show at 20 minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ohio native John Legend visited Dayton on Sunday and played a surprise show at Blind Bob's Bar. That's right near where gunmen killed nine people and injured 31 others on August 4th in the city's Oregon district. Uh, John Legend is from Springfield, Ohio, about 30 minutes northeast of Dayton. First, John toured the area where Dayton Mayor, uh, with Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley. And uh, John Legend posted a picture from the show on Instagram, writing, I just played a few songs to try and help bring comfort to some of the survivors of last week's tragedy in Dayton. My heart breaks for everyone who lost someone. I know how everyone rallies around one another during their time of grief. I I love how they do that, but our nation should not keep putting ourselves through these Mm. preventable traumas. Let's fix it together. Call your senators and demand they vote on stronger gun safety laws. Wow. And hashtag Dayton Strong. I love how John Legend is such an activist. I mean, yes. you can you can see his yeah. heart. He really, yeah. really cares mm-hmm. about this country and the people in this country. You know, Try he's to not make a difference. Yeah, you know. he's not just an yeah. artist. You know, a great artist, but uh, he also is very active. Yeah, compassionate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Love John. Yeah. Man. Absolutely. Did you guys hear this? Uh, Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer wants to require FBI approval on sales of body armor. To the general public, too. This bill uh, Schumer proposed on Sunday comes a week after Dayton, uh, that mass shooter. He was wearing uh, body armor in his attack, so we'll follow that and see how that goes. Uh, And we'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show coming up. Trending news at 33 after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for a trending sports news with Junior. All right, come on, Junior. Preseason NFL is here. What's happening? Okay. Uh, you know, right now, the big story right now is uh, Antonio Brown. What? Yeah. From the Raiders. Yeah. From helmet. the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Brown filed a grievance uh, against the league in order to get permission to wear his preferred helmet. But uh, now that helmet that Antonio wants to wear, is it, they don't make it no more. Mm-hmm. You know, it, okay. it hadn't made it since 2011. And okay. it could not be recertified for 2019. So the helmet ain't here. Now, you be, now he he making thirty me. Yeah. Let's not uh-huh. make this helmet the problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 not make this you helmet got, the problem. You got helmet money. You can get any kind of helmet you want. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> well, no, he can't because he can't get the one he wants. What if he signed a release form? You know, like if you if something happened to you, you can't. He can throw sign it back the on release form, Tommy. But they don't make the helmet. Okay. <laughs> They're not gonna give it to him. The helmet yeah. don't even get made no more. But I'm with well, you. He Junior. wants the one he had. Yeah. I'm with you, Junior. Don't let don't make this hey, about the helmet. Don't make this about the helmet. Thirty million. Helmet make thirty million. Yeah. Thirty million. I play without a helmet. Okay. Give me the one. Give me thirty give me. million. I swear yeah, I, I play I'm without a helmet. You. you will not hit my head. I promise you no, won't. No, give me the one they. What's the first one they wore? The one on the side with no face mask, uh, leather helmet. That leather one. That leather helmet. Oh, yeah. Put that on <laughs> for thirty million. The leather head. Don't give me that. I, I, I swear I'm leading head first. Thirty million in the city. Quit talking like he gonna quit. I'm not gonna play. He threatening not to play. Junior. But did, Junior, did you hear the, about the grievance yesterday? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about Yeah, I heard that? about the grievance. I just sitting there shaking my head. It's you making 30 me. Right. I'm shaking my head while you're telling the story right now. Why in the hell is you not playing? <laughs> well, his grievance was denied. Yeah, they told it, him no. Th- 
and they told him no. You gonna Well, there's other people that didn't get the helmet that they wanted. Tom like, Brady, Brady said didn't he, get the helmet he didn't want he the one he got. He didn't get that one. But he what? Went out there and played. Tom Hello. Brady. Tom he, had Brady. Pra- he had practice. He had practice. Yeah, come on. He complied. Yeah. You yeah. better get out of the now. Come on, Antonio. Yeah. Now you're doing too much now. Yeah. Now you got you yeah. wanted out the Steelers, you're out. Well, now you, you wanna make about the helmet. You're definitely not setting a good example. No, That's for sure. No, no, no. You're not doing that, man. He's but, gonna play. He's he gonna will have play. to. He He's just wants play. is he now just he drawing added, attention to this? That's it. Oh, That's okay. what I think it is, sure. That's it. Attention. It's for attention. You got a thirty yes. million dollar extension. You sitting up here crying about a helmet. Damn, please. <laughs> Boy, if you don't put this, you don't put, put that damn helmet, damn helmet on. on. Where your mama at? Get your ass out Wait, there and play. I'll go out there and put Tommy's hat on. We'll wear Tommy hat out there. Okay. Tommy's got a real nice fedora sitting right there. It doesn't look anything like a helmet, no. but I'll wear that. wear that. I can play in that hat, and you're not going to hit me for 30 minutes. I'm not getting ready to minutes. post this, Tommy. I'll tell you right now. Tommy. I wear a construction hat. No, give me that. Okay. okay. Give, me, give me something. I'm talking about the hat. Junior. Junior. Huh? Antonio Brown, is he the league's greatest wide receiver? Is he? He's one of them. He's one of them. He's one of them. I now. think he's wow. up there. I mean, it's Julio Jones. Uh-huh. I think bit, um I think Antonio Brown. Oh, he's a he's a like he's one a bad a, one boy. B, either one. All right, so coming up, our last break of the day, and we'll go around the table and find out what we've learned today in honor of J. Anthony Brown. J. Anthony Brown. We love you, Jay. Right after this, coming up at forty nine after. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, here we are. Last break of the day. Uh, it was a good day, huh? It this Tuesday, it's really yeah. Good. What yeah. a day! What a day! Yeah, it's yeah. really, really good. Yeah, we had fun on this day. Yeah. Learned a lot. We yeah. learned a lot, so yeah. we're gonna take over. Do it. You know, pick up from uh, uh, our family member, Jay Anthony Brown. What yeah. did you learn today? Mm-hmm. We'll roll around the room, and we're gonna start with you, Find Junior out. Boy. Can we start with you today? Yeah, man. What you learned today? I found out that the man in the strawberry letter is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I really learned that today that there are actually, he's not by himself. There are some men that really feel like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How could you say women are just totally useless? Uh, that I, line th- what? just, just man, got me, Junior. I, 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 I really got mad. Yeah, yeah. No, I really got mad at that today, man. I learned that today. I really did. I said, man, these guys still you out. You know how ugly this world will be with no women in it? Man, I wouldn't even be here. Ooh. But you don't put women down just because they're confident That's in right. themselves. You don't yeah. do that. You don't do that. Mm. And then you go and boast about how you got it going on, but you don't like for women, women. to yeah, do that. You control it. Yeah. That's why the last wife yeah. left, because she was controlled. <laughs> and your ass is still up. <laughs> <laughs> Two <laughs> hours <laughs> later, you still. Uh, that's what I learned. Yeah. Carla Farrell. Learned a couple of things. The first thing I learned, well, I was just reminded of this. I already knew this, but Simone Biles. Come on, boy. <laughs> yeah. Gold Come on here. Gymnast. Mm-hmm. She is the GOAT, yes, greatest she is. of all time. So just reminding people about that black girl magic. I mm-hmm. love, love, love watching her tumble. She's a beast. She is the beast. And then the other thing I learned is about Rihanna shopping. She's just like us, because I love her so much. I love her so much. <laughs> she needs grocery shop, push her grocery cart, just like the rest of us. That's Stars right. Stars like us. I mm-hmm. love it. So that's what I learned today during entertainment news on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. All right. <laughs> Shirley Strawberry, what you learned today, baby? Um, well, you know, I'm not into sports that much, you know, but this guy, um, this guy, Antonio Brown, is that his name? That's him. All right, to to have this fight with with his team in the NFL about this helmet that he wants to wear and he's uh. making all this money. I mean, like I said, I'm not really million. into it yet. But but come on now. You you have to learn in life to pick your battles. You yeah. have to pick your battles. This is not one of those battles uh, that that you should be involved in. Okay, put a helmet on, get out there and play and get your money, all right? And 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 build a legacy for for your family and stuff like that, and for for future football players and stuff like that. Don't do this, Mm-mm. okay? Don't do this. Well, You're let not. me let me piggyback that though, Shirley. Get you an astronaut helmet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to see. Yeah, you know, cause you can put that thing. You could breathe in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You could play football here or on the moon. You, you know what I'm saying? Get you a helmet that 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 they gonna clear. You know, uh-huh. they'll clear an astronaut helmet. Yeah. yeah. You'll be fine yeah. with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the other thing, we got to talk about Rick Ross, too. I mean, you know, when we were kids, we always found, we always learned when you cross the street, look both ways before yeah. you cross the street. Even if your shirt is open. Yeah. And when you're in New York City, look both ways in the bike lane. You got to do that. I know you're Rick Ross. I know you're the boss. I got all of that. 
but you got to still look both ways. Yeah, Rick would have been. Because I could have been ugly if he had been yeah. hit, you know? Well, he'd been fine. That bike been the one that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did my bike. <laughs> <laughs> but the bike is actually coming faster than some yeah. of the cars, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. guys are New serious. York, yeah. You know. Them guys are flying, yeah. man. Especially I, the messengers, you know? Yeah, yeah the curious. I was just about to say that, Tommy. Yeah. I, I like the how the. Services. Right. I, I like how the biker, you know, had quick reflexes and was able to swerve and miss them, you know, because that could have been crazy right there. But anyway. He got mad, though. The biker. Yeah, the biker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he was yeah. mad. Did he yeah, know yeah, who he was cussing at? Did he know? Uh, no, I don't it. think New no. York they care. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would have known he wouldn't care. Yeah. He didn't give a damn who Rick was. You in the bike lane? Mm-hmm. Yep. Look yep. both ways. That's you know. Junior, yeah. In New York. They Man. <laughs> Can I say something about Antonio Brown? Mm-hmm. Oh on, yeah. On a so steer, then, on are a, you gonna tell us what you've learned today? That's what it is, Antonio Brown. Yeah, I, I've learned that you know when you're blessed to make this kind of money. Yes. When you're blessed to make. 30-something plus, and there's, there's no telling how many millions Antonio Brown has made thus far. And you are you are a role model whether you want to be one or not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can't you can't be a leader of your team, which he is a leader now of yes, the of the Oakland uh, Raiders. Yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Oh, that's you, really big. Right. You are a leader, man. So you yeah, can't be over you can you can't be yeah. over there pouting and putting your lip out about your helmet mm-hmm. when it's just proper protocol. It's the way things are in the NFL. You, they, this 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 uh this particular helmet is outdated. We're not using it anymore. For and safety. all of this is for your safety. Yes. Yeah. yes. You know, yes. I get it when people like uh, uh, Michael Jordan, you got to have the number 23. Kobe Bryant got to have this number. You know what I mean? I get the number thing. It's a jersey. Yeah. That can change. That can interchange at any time. Absolutely. We're talking about the safety. We're talking about you not getting a concussion, brother. Yeah. I, <laughs> so that bothers yeah. me that you are, well, you're not taking advantage of your situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now you're sitting over here saying you're not going to play. Get, and even probably, Tommy, taking it for granted a little bit That's as well. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. You're taking, taking it, for all granted. it for granted. Yeah, that is what I mean. Don't do that. That's why I say pick your battles. Definitely uh, pick your battles. Is this the same guy that was had frostbite? On his yes, feet. That's him. Uh-huh. Same guy. Yeah. That was oh. an accident, though. I don't think yeah, he did no, that he, on purpose. Okay. Well, no, I know that. I don't, who, who? I hope not. You go in one of those cryogenic right. therapy, therapy things, things and yeah. uh, he didn't have on shoes, right? Mm-hmm. And the his proper feet. Footwear. Proper he footwear. He didn't have proper footwear. Wow. wow. Is he changing shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he will now. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to play. Oh, yeah, he's going to play. Yeah. I mean, he is going, he going yeah. to play. He's going to so put you, that helmet on, and he's going to play. So you think it's all about attention. He's it just is. trying to get a, so. garner yes. attention it's before attention. the game. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. We leave, learned a leave, lot today. Leave a good example for your kids. Yes, I know they're watching. that's what I say. You got a legacy. Come on now. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. In the words of Steve Harvey, have a good weekend. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <It's> Tuesday. <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 